All right, so we're sitting here with Andrew and Nathan in their 2016 Porsche GT3. How do you guys like this car? Good. Here's and my first question. Are Porsches fast or slow? Fast. And is this Porsche fast or slow? Slow. All right, so we have to fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this car, so we're going to try to make it 50% faster. And any self-respect of modder has to have a baseline of before and after, so we'll do a little before and after testing. We'll also have a race with um, Nathan's blue dune racer, which he's going to get right now, as a point of reference. All right, so here I am with racers Andrew and racer Nathan. We're here to benchmark our upgrades for their Porsche GT3. So Nathan is in a little dune racer and this has already been modified. It started at six volts, now it's 12 volts, so it's effectively twice as fast as it was before. And which car is faster right now, guys? This one. Yeah, this one's faster? Because mine is the slowest. All right, we'll see what we can do about that. So we'll have our first race. On your mark, get set, go! Go, 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 go! Little jump start by Nathan, but they're off to a good start. There they go, the little Dune Razor has an early lead. It's much faster. It's much, much faster. Oh, so fast you can't even make that turn. All right. So here we are at the upgrade shop. We're ready to, to add another battery to this. We're gonna go from 12 volts to 18 volts. We'll make it roughly, hopefully about 50% faster. So first, we remove the hood. Go ahead, how do we do this, buddy? We have to lift up both right. sides. It's all fit. It's yeah. this way. And it is a lightweight, fully removable hood for easy access. Just like its bigger brother, the Porsche Production GT3, the battery is on the right here. So we'll start by removing the stock battery. You can see that there's a stock clamp over here on the side. A connector. And then we pop it out here. One 12 volt battery. So to make some more room for the batteries, we're going to remove this stock battery holder right here. Now we have plenty of room. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to change the connector. So the connector on our new batteries aren't this proprietary Power Wheels version. So we're going to clip this off, add some generic style connectors, and off we go. So here we are, Andrew and I, with our batteries. So we have how many batteries, Andrew? One and... Two. So the bigger one is 12 volts, this guy is 6 volts, so 12 plus 6 is 18 volts. So these have different connectors than the proprietary power wheels. So we bought these little guys, they're called F2 connectors, so we'll wire them up, plug them in, we'll chop off this connector here from the car, we'll leave some so we can splice it back in if we ever want to. Alright, but it's a big moment, we can't go back from here. So let's cut it right around there. Squeeze my hand, ready? Alright! That's it, let's get this one. We did it. There we go. No going back now. All right, Andrew, make the final connection here. All right, so we're all set. So what we've done really simply here is we've wired these two batteries in series, and then we've also put um, a fuse in line here in case there's any power surges. We've protected the whole car. Last thing we're gonna do is, this wiggles a little bit, so we're gonna use the highest quality foam that probably lived in a 30 year old chair for most of its life into the back of this so that it stabilizes it. So there we go, everything is nice and stable and sturdy. It's ready to go. Alright Andrew, let's button it up. Can you get the other side of the hood? Okay, let's get down here. Get the sides in. Alright, give me five. Alright, can we challenge Nathan to another race? Right. First shot with 18 volts. Let her rip, buddy. Let's back.
turn. Waste number two, we have an 18 volt Andrew and we have a 12 volt Nathan. Are you guys ready to see who's faster? Me. Who do you think is going to be faster this time? Me. What do you think, Nathan? Me. All right, time will tell. On your mark. Get set. Go! Long way, Mustang! All right, so we're gonna try this one more time. We figured that Andrew's car would be much, much faster if we started in forward as opposed to reverse. What do you guys think? Should we try it? Are you ready? Everybody in the forward gear. We're all set. On your mark. Get set. And it looks like Nathan got creative. <laughs> Get set, go! Well, the GT3 is an early lead. Looks like that extra voltage has helped. Yep, and there goes Mr. Nathan. Get set, go! Oh. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah, a little bit of an early start there by the little dream racer. Looks like he's about to get overtaken. I hope he's cheating. Go! A lot of wheel spin here in the beginning. Little Dune Racer definitely has an advantage there. Oh, the GT3 definitely has some extra voltage. There they go. The lead is getting separated. Hopefully, yep. Looks like Nathan didn't cheat this one time. All right, guys. So, what's the verdict? Is the is the 911 faster? Yes. 18 is a lot faster, or just a little faster. A lot. All right. Nathan has proven that no matter how much power you have, there's always a way to win. So, is it worth it? In a word, yes. The GT3 is definitely much, much faster. The two vehicles are much more evenly matched, and most importantly, have two much happier points.